The movie starts with a beautiful woman in the open, while it snows. Admiring a bright red rose, blooming during deep winter, the woman, Queen Eleanor of the Kingdom of Tabor pricks her finger on one of its thorns. Drops of blood fall onto the snow, and she wishes for a daughter with skin as white as snow, lips as red as blood, hair as black as a raven's wings, and a heart as strong as that rose. She then gives birth to a daughter named Snow White, and all of her wishes are fulfilled. When she is still a young girl, Snow White brings an injured crow to her mother, and the queen is happy to learn that she has a compassionate daughter, and that she will be a good queen. After that, the queen falls gravely ill and dies. King Magnus, the father of Snow White, leads his army into the battle against a dark army and defeats them. After the battle, the king finds a prisoner named Ravenna. Ravenna is a beautiful woman, and the king falls in love with her, and they end up getting married right away. Ravenna meets Snow White and shows compassion to her, telling her that she also lost her mother at a very young age. Ravenna is in fact a powerful sorceress and the Dark Army's master. On their wedding night, Ravenna confesses that there was a king, much like Magnus, that hurt her and discarded her. She declares that she will not be discarded and kills Magnus before taking over the kingdom. With the help of her brother Finn, Snow White wakes up in the middle of the night when she hears the chaos going on out there. She goes out and finds her father dead. She then manages to get out of there with the help of her childhood friend Williams father, but when she gets on a horse, the rider is killed, and she then gets locked inside the castle, getting captured by Finn. William begs his father Duke Hammond to save his friend, but they ride away. Ravenna is in her new tower, and she has been brought a big mirror. She asks the mirror who is the fairest of them all, and the mirror replies she is the fairest of them all. Ravenna then orders her soldiers to execute all the people who are still loyal to King Magnus. She then orders Snow White to be locked up. Snow White is kept locked inside a cell for years, and one day, they throw another woman in the cell next to Snow White's. The woman's name is Greta. She tells Snow White that Ravenna's men captured all the women from her town, and she tried to run away, but got caught. Snow White learns that Duke Hammond is still alive and tells Greta that she is the princess, believed to be dead in the outside world. Snow White asks Greta about William, but she says she does not know about the boy. We then see Ravenna looking on in satisfaction as she sees the people fighting for water. She then recalls how she and her brother used to be in similar circumstances. She still believes that she is kinder than the queen in the kingdom where they grew up. One day, her knights bring a father and his son to the queen, the queen starts to play around with the son, telling him that the boy is handsome. The boy vigorously takes out a knife and stabs Ravenna, she however barely flinches. She then starts to dig her nails into the boy's chest, as if she is about to rip out his heart. The father begs for his son's life, and she lets the boy go off. She then asks the old man to go to Hammond and tell him how generous the queen actually is. Few years later, Ravenna is worried because her skin is getting wrinkled, Finn offers her Greta to help her with that. Ravenna goes on to lift up the poor girl by her neck as she absorbs her youth, causing Greta to become old that very moment. Greta is then returned to her cage. Ravenna goes to the mirror and asks the same question, who is the fairest of them all? But the mirror this time tells her that Snow White is the fairest of them all. The mirror then tells Ravenna, Snow White can either destroy her or save her, it's her choice. Ravenna learns that if she consumes Snow White's heart, she will become immortal and will always be young, on top of that, she is not going to need to feed upon other women's youth. Ravenna right away orders her brother to bring Snow White. In her cell, Snow White sees a crow that shows a loose nail. She takes the nail and pretends to sleep as Finn approaches her. When Finn comes near her, she stabs him with the nail and locks him inside her cell and escapes. She also goes to Greta's cell to free her, but sees that Greta is old and will not be able to keep up. Greta also tells her to run, and Snow White gets out of there. Finn manages to get out of the cell, and Snow White gets surrounded by the knights. She however manages to get into the sewage. The next thing we see, Snow White is jumping into the ocean. As she swims ashore, she is led by the crows to a white horse. Snow White races toward the forest, as she is still being pursued by the knights. She then gets stuck in muddy water, gets off the horse and starts to run on foot. She ends up in the dark forest and has no idea where to go. Before you know it, she starts hallucinating. 
she still manages to get away from the knights but gets knocked out. Back at the castle, Finn gives Ravenna the news that the girl has been lost in the dark. Forrest and Ravenna is furious at him. She goes on to hit him, but Finn gets pissed off and tells her that he has given everything. To her. She claims to have done the same for him. They calm down and she tells him to find someone who can bring her Snow White. We then see a man named Eric getting beaten up by a man to whom he owes money. Finn and his men approach Eric and take him to the Queen. Ravenna orders him to find the girl, but he refuses, saying he might die in the dark forest. Ravenna threatens to kill him, but he dares her to go on, as he has nothing to live for. Anyway. Ravenna then offers to bring his beloved wife back to life if he finds Snow White. Eric agrees and is led to the place where Finn and his men lost the girl. Snow White, on the other hand, wakes up and starts running. Eric follows in her footsteps, and as she hides in a tree, he finds her. When he sees her, he is surprised to see that she is a beautiful young woman. He takes the girl to Finn and his men, and before he hands her over, he demands they give him what he was promised. Finn makes fun of him, telling him that he is a fool for believing that dead people can come back. Eric loses it and attacks the men. He beats them, and Snow White manages to break free and makes a run for her life. Eric then fights Finn, and after he has defeated him, he again catches up to the girl and demands to know why Ravenna wants her so badly. Snow White does not answer the question and offers him 100 gold coins if he helps her get to Duke Hammond's castle. Eric agrees. Back at Hammond's castle, we see the old father giving the news that Ravenna is immortal and Snow White is still alive. William on the other hand attacks a supply train of Ravenna and ends up defeating her men, raining down arrows on them. When William returns, he gets the news that Snow White is still alive. He right away decides to find her, his father, however, says that he cannot lose any more. Men. Finn then gathers huntsmen to find Snow White, and William joins Finn's band as a bowman. Eric and Snow White leave the dark forest, where she saves his life, by charming a huge troll that attacks them. They make their way to a fishing village, populated by women who have disfigured themselves to make themselves useless to Ravenna. This is where Eric gets to know that Snow White is a princess. He confronts her, asking why she didn't reveal her true identity to him, and she tells him that she did not trust him. Eric gets hurt and leaves. At night, the village is attacked by Finn and his men, they ambush everyone in their tracks. Snow White gets out of the house with a baby and starts to run. Eric hears the loud screams of the women and returns. He defeats everyone, and when he tries to find Snow White, she is gone. Snow White then gets caught, but Eric arrives and saves her. In the morning, they get caught by the dwarfs, who plan to kill them. This is when a blind dwarf, Muir perceives that Snow White is the only person who can defeat Ravenna and end her reign. In the meantime, Finn gets there with his men. The dwarfs take them to a sanctuary, where fairies live. At night, some of the dwarfs are still skeptical of the princess, but they realize that their illnesses are getting better and assume that it must be because of Snow White. A dwarf named Gus asks Eric why he is helping the girl and he says his reason is not just the money. As they travel through a fairy sanctuary, they are attacked by Finn and his men. A battle ensues, during which Finn, his men, and one of the dwarfs are killed, while William reveals himself and joins the group on their journey to Hammond's castle. Halfway there, Ravenna disguises herself as William and tempts Snow White into eating a poisoned apple. She flees when Eric and William discover her. William kisses Snow White, but nothing happens, though no one notices the tear that comes from one of her eyes. Her body is taken to Hammond's castle. Eric professes his regret for not being there to save her, as her heart and strength remind him of his wife Sarah. He regrets how he let his beloved wife die. After his wife, he did not care for anyone until he met the princess. He kisses her and does not notice a second tear fall from one of her eyes as his kiss was the second of true love needed. Snow White awakens and rallies the duke's army to mount a siege against Ravenna. The dwarfs infiltrate the castle through the sewers and open the gates, allowing the army. Inside, Snow White confronts Ravenna but is overpowered. Ravenna is about to kill her when Snow White uses a move the huntsman taught her and stabs Ravenna, defeating her for good. The kingdom once again enjoys peace and harmony and life is brought back to the kingdom as Snow White is crowned the new queen of Tabor. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe for more.